On screen is a list of all items covered in this video and the requirements needed to do them. Any items handed to the player during this story will not be included. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now. Okie dokie, so we have a lot of ground to cover. We're actually going to start off here on the southern fly point of the Pokemon League or Victory Road. We're going to make our way into the entrance here uh, from the Pokemon Center side, make our way across the bridge and rock climb our way down. To the left, you'll be able to find TM41 Torment by this psychic trainer. Next, we're going to make our way back over to that rock climbable section and go back up the mountain like so. And then we're going to make a right. Go down the staircase and across this little short bridge over here, you should be able to find an item in the upper left corner. The next thing we're going to do is make our way back over to the staircase we just came from. And this time we're going to rock climb our way across the bridge, just like so. Once you rock climb your way down, make your way to the left and don't jump over any ledges. Make your way up the short staircase and in this upper corner hidden on the rock, you'll be able to find a nugget. Next, we're going to make our way upstairs into the second floor by going over here. Once you're in the second floor, we're going to rock smash, push this boulder over to the tile, one over to the left, and then this boulder we're going to push over as far to the right as we can. We're going to hop on our mock bike, that is the bike in mock mode, and swerve our way over the ramp. Next, we're going to rock smash and switch our bike to acro mode so we don't hop over the rock so we can make our way through this skinny area and find the max elixir. The next thing we're going to do is hop over this ledge and make our way southbound. Uh, I'm using a mock bike to go back over it. And we're going to rock smash through this rock over here. Once we make our way down, we're going to have a small strength puzzle. There's not really any way you can do that wrong, so just make your way around. And by this ace trainer over here, you'll be able to find a hidden rare candy. Now we're going to make our way back down and again a strength puzzle that we don't want to push over that that one boulder. We're only going to push over the one on the left. Rock smash and push the boulder back up like that. Rock smash through here and make our way to the right and again you're going to find another three boulders that you can't really do anything besides push them to the right. We're going to go make our way down the staircase to reset the boulder's position and back up the stairs. Now we can push this boulder down and make our way to the right. Over here, we're going to strength this boulder over to the right as far as possible. And once the strength boulder gets pushed up against the wall, you'll be able to find a hidden full restore. Make your way through this small corridor, push the boulder over once, rock smash this rock, and push this boulder once down. Now we're in this next area, which we can zigzag our way through the uh, ramps over here. And we're going to hop on our mock bike and hop over only two ramps and stop ourselves so we can get the TM for Stone Edge up in the back corner of the second floor. Once we're here, we can make our way back down and uh, make our way across all of the ramps, switching into my, uh, mock bike mode to be able to grab this last full restore. Now that's pretty much it for the second floor, with the exception of one item which we can't get right now. We'll come back for that later. We're going to make our way down and go down that staircase and actually stay down there this time. Crossing the bridge, you can go ahead and rock climb downward and past this karate guy over here, or the black belt is this official trainer class, you should be able to find a hidden ultra ball. Now once we get that, we can go down the stairs into the basement floor. In the basement floor, we're going to kind of zigzag around a little bit. Let's surf across the first pond, surf in the second pond, and over here by the running trainer, you should be able to find, excuse me, sir, you should be able to find an Ultra Ball again. Now we're going to make our way south just a little bit and surf across this very short pond. Hidden on this rock over here is a heart scale. Make our way up the staircase and again, you should be able to find a calcium. Make your way up the next set of stairs and you should be able to find a surfable patch of water once again. We're going to make our way all the way to the left and go up the staircase. There is a one little secluded area that has a rare candy in it back on this floor. Now that's really it for that floor. We're going to go back down and go across this water again. We're going to kind of make our way backtrack a little bit. Go all the way over here. Go down the two sets of stairs. Surf once more. Go up. Surf once again. And this time we're actually going to go up the waterfall. We're going to waterfall our way up the waterfall, curve around this little river stream, and make our way down this waterfall. And at the base of the waterfall, you should be able to find the TM for Dragon Pulse. Once you have the TM for Dragon Pulse, we're going to, once again, hop back in the water, 
waterfall our way back up and make our way to the left. Surfing is very common on this floor. <laughs> Once we come down here, before we go up the stairs, you should be able to find a hidden max elixir. And now we can go up the staircase. We're almost done here. That's everything for the basement floor. Now we're over here. We're going to make our way past the old man all the way to the left. You should be able to find a razor claw, which will help you evolve um, your Sneasel into a Weavile. And by the old man, you're going to squeeze between the two mountains over here, and we're going to rock climb the mountain on our left. Remember I told you there was an item on the second floor, which we can get later. We're about to get that. But first, grab that hidden Max Revive, make your way across the bridge, and go up the staircase. Here is that last item on the second floor. We're going to do a small strength puzzle, push the top one over to the left, push the bottom one over to the left, and then push the middle one up one to grab TM for Dark Pulse. That's everything for the second floor and everything for the basement floor. There's not much left on the first floor, so we're going to make our way across this bridge, rock climb back down, and then by uh, over here by this old man, we're going to choose the staircase that's right by him, cross this bridge, and this cave over here is only accessible in the post game once you have the national decks. Considering we have the national decks, we're going to grab that zinc and go inside. This is the back room over here, and we're going to just, this one is just kind of like a passageway. There's nothing really you can do here, so just make your way to the back room. And here we're going to need to use Defog. Once you use the move Defog, we can surf over uh, to the right over here. You'll be able to find a small little patch of land with a leftovers on it, which is great to have. Go ahead, get back in the water, make your way up. You'll be able to find a hidden, uh, I believe it's a rare candy, I might be wrong. It's an Ultra Ball. I was wrong. Once you grab the hidden Ultra Ball, we're going to surf back in the water, make our way to the left this time. And once we're over here, we're going to do a weird strength puzzle. First, let's push this boulder up one tile. Go over here. This right here, we need to be a little careful on our walking. We want to push each of these boulders to the left. Do not accidentally push it over to, uh, don't push it up. Just keep pushing them to the left. That way you can make your way up here. And at this end, we're going to need to push this boulder up two spaces like that. And then over to the right one space. That will lock in that bottom item you can see over there, but that's okay. We will come right back for it. Let's grab that Dusk Stone, and let's make our way back out of this room to reset all of the boulders' positions. So we're going to uh, squeeze our way all the way down here, go up the staircase, uh, like we that, the one that we came from, sorry, the door that we came from, and just go right back inside. Once we're inside, we're going to do the same thing we just did, but this time we're going to push the boulder up over here and we're going to make a right on this second pond that you see over here so over here at the second pond we're going to come over here we're going to surf just a little bit uh, i didn't edit this surf out that's okay surf over here and we're going to push that boulder over to the left and this one up so we can escape here later now we're going to squeeze our way down here and this is like a maze of rocks over here essentially you just want to follow the path that i'm doing this will take us to a hidden item at the end of it all right over here is one ultra ball there's still a hidden rare candy in this maze as well uh so we're gonna make our way down just like this zigzag around can't really give any instructions just follow my lead in the video and once we get down to this area you should be able to find a hidden rare candy now that's everything for the maze there's only a couple items left in this room and that will be the it uh the end of the video let's surf our way back over here remember we opened this little passageway earlier we can squeeze our way through here and squeeze our way through this little area and go up the staircase uh let's go ahead and surf over here grab this uh item over here this is a nugget and then there is one more hidden item to the right of us and we are almost done and out of victory road it's a long one i'm sure uh this is an hp up now we're going to head our way back to the left surf across this small little pond and squeeze our way through here again there is a hidden heart scale hidden on this rock over here like that the middle rock and then we're just going to surf around this boulder puzzle so we don't have to worry about uh blocking ourselves in because if we were to push it to the left we would just it would accomplish nothing come over here to that puzzle from earlier this time we're going to push this the boulder up three spaces and then we can now make our way to this part over here now that is every item of victory road the raw footage for this was 17 minutes long but thanks for a, a couple helpful cuts i was able to save some time hopefully it was a little more bearable for you guys and as always guys technos out